Oh no, not again. This is the third house plant that died on me. I seem to have a hard time keeping my plants alive. And these aren't even for my experiments. Plants need water to survive, and this one just didn't get enough. I just don't know when to water them, but we can use science to help. Before we begin, let's see exactly why plants need water. Most plants you find on land have leaves and roots. The roots absorb water and other nutrients from the soil. This water travels up through the plant to the leaves. The leaves also collect carbon dioxide gas from the atmosphere. Using a process called photosynthesis, plants use sunlight energy to convert water and carbon dioxide into sugar and oxygen. The oxygen is released back into the atmosphere while the sugar is used by the plant to help it grow. Lucky for us, we can use the micro bit to give us an idea of how much water is in the soil. Let's talk about how that might work. Let's start with a glass of distilled water. Then we'll put two conducting pieces of metal into the water, like nails. We then connect these nails to either end of a battery. Surprisingly enough, almost no electricity will flow, and that's because H2O, pure water, is a fantastic insulator. However, if we start to add salt, dirt, or other molecules in the water, lots of electric current will begin to flow. That's because these impurities, even impurities found in tap water, are great conductors of electricity. We're going to do something similar with soil. Dry soil does not conduct much electricity. When we add water, the soil will absorb that water, and it will begin to look a lot like our water example with lots of impurities. As a result, electricity will begin flowing between the nails when we have them connected to our micro bit. We'll watch how this conductivity changes by attaching one nail to the 3 volt pin on the micro bit and the other nail to the analog pin 1. When the soil is not very conductive, the micro bit will output a low number for the voltage, like around 700. With only a little water, that number will increase to something like 900. Finally, with completely wet soil, we should see something close to the max value of 1023. This number means that the micro bit is able to measure the full 3 volts on the other nail, and we have maximum conductivity between the nails. First, use some alligator clips to connect two nails to the 3 volt pin and pin 1 on the micro bit. Start with some dry soil and insert these nails into your soil. Make sure they don't touch or you'll short them together. In MakeCode, drag an on button pressed block from input to the workspace. Get a show number block from basic and snap it inside the on button pressed block. Click on advanced and go to pins. Get an analog read pin block and put it inside the show number block. Finally, change the pin from P0 to P1 as we have one of the nails connected to that pin. Download this to your micro bit. Press the A button on the micro bit to take your first reading. Write it down in your science notebook and label it as dry. Add a little water at a time until the soil feels just slightly wet. You can use your finger to touch the soil to determine this. Press the A button to take another reading and write it down next to the label moist. Do this one more time, but add water until it seems the soil won't hold any more. It helps to use a planter that has holes on the bottom as you'll see water come out when the soil has absorbed all it can. Take one more reading from your micro bit and write it down next to the label wet. Now we have our numbers. We can use that moist number as a threshold. So now anytime our soil moisture sensor detects something below that number, it means the soil is beginning to dry out. And we can use that to say flash lights or sound an alarm, letting me know it's time to water my plants. If you'd like to make a soil moisture alarm, Connect a small speaker up to pin 0 and ground while leaving the nails connected to pins 1 and 3 volts. In a new MakeCode project, create a new variable named Moisture. Drag a Set Moisture block under Forever and go into the Advanced section. In Pins, get an Analog Read Pin block and snap it to the right side of the Set Moisture block. Change the pin from P0 to P1. Drag an If Else block from Logic under the Set Moisture block. Get a less than block from logic and snap it to the condition part of the if statement. Change the less than sign to a greater than sign. Get a moisture variable and snap it to the left side of the inequality block. Change the right side to a value near our very wet reading, like 1010. Get a show icon block from basic and snap it under this condition. Change the show icon to something like a surprised face. This will indicate that the plant has too much water. Click the plus button on the if-else block to make a new else-if statement appear. 
Get another less than block from logic and snap it to this new condition. Change the less than symbol to a greater than symbol. Put another moisture variable in the left side of this inequality block. Change the comparison value to something near our number showing that the plant had just enough moisture. I'll actually set mine down to 900 as I think the plant can go longer with slightly drier soil. Get another show icon from basic and snap it under this condition. Change the icon to a happy face. This will show that the plant has the right amount of water. Get another show icon block and place it under the else portion and change it to a frowny face. Finally, get two play tone blocks from music and put them inside the if block. Change one to high C and the other to middle G or whichever notes you want to play. Download this project to your micro bit. We can add a battery pack to the micro bit to make it more portable and install it in some house plants. Since this plant has enough water, it will show a happy face. If it gets too much water, it will show a surprised face. And if it has too little water, it will show a frowny face and sound an alarm. With this fantastically annoying buzzer, I should not forget to water my plants at this point. To take it to the next level, you can connect a servo to the micro bit so that it dumps a little bit of water into your plant each time it detects that the soil is getting too dry. This is the beginning of your fully automated watering system. I highly recommend checking out the UCP Science pages on the MakeCode site if you'd like to get more project ideas like this one. Good luck in your horticultural science adventures, and with that, I need to go install about a dozen very annoying soil moisture alarms in my vegetable garden.